Mother, who art in heaven, heavenly Mother. I said Mother, who art in heaven. You heard that right? Huh. Shalom, everyone. Shalom or Shalom. May peace be unto you from God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Mashiach, Yahushai, or Yashaya, you know, our Messiah and our great high priest in the order of Melchizedek. I want to start off here with a scripture. I want to start off here with 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3. It says here, But I fear least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. And mighty, 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 mighty. All I'm saying here is that in this video that we're going to react to, you're going to see deception upon top of deception. And this is the reason why, you know, females, you really need um, proper leadership and proper guidance. You know, households need men to guide them into uh, to, help, to help them to guide them into truth the holy spirit guide them into all truth but you need male figures um to uh, assist with you thinking in alignment with truth at all times and i, I don't want to go too much in talking about that but just look at this video of this young lady i thought she is saying that she's praying for vibes cartel because vibes cartel has now been freed and all of that and she public publicly come out to do a public prayer for um vibes cartel and you're gonna hear how this lady is actually praying and who this lady is praying to mighty mighty if deception was a per if deception was a person we'll see it right here i'm not making the video to put her down anything like that but we must make but we must expose um workers of darkness so you have many people working in darkness we don't even know that they're in darkness because they're walking away from the truth. And any man that doesn't have the truth in them, they're walking in darkness. So check this video out right here. Fear use for this video. Fear use. So as the title suggests, we're going to go into prior for Vibes Cartel. I will go into prior for Vibes Cartel. Because I already know how to protect you. I know. Heavenly Mother, who art in heaven, Heavenly Mother, I said Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Today is Jamaica's Emancipation Day, oh, and God. yesterday, you see that? Heavenly Mother, so she's taking away and adding to the word. So Christ says, when he was teaching his disciples how to pray, he says, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. But now here we have someone here, a, a female here, now taking away from the word of God to put what she would want to be there. And it's the very same thing that Eve did. It's the reason why I start off with this scripture here. You know, when you look back in the scriptures, Eve actually added to the word of God based on what we see here. Because he told Adam, do not eat of the fruit. Don't eat of the fruit. You know? At the moment you eat of that fruit, the day in which you eat of that fruit, you will surely die. Nevertheless, Eve said, not only did Eve says eat, but Eve also mentioned touch, that you should not even touch it. But when you look back, God never said that to Adam. He said eat, he never said touch. And this is the mistake. I even see this in Christianity to where our ladies in Christianity is adding to the word. This is the reason why women should not be trying to lead a flock. They should not try to be out here leading a flock because they are more easily to fall off in deception. And this is the reason why I start with the scripture here. So now we start to move away from what? The simplicity that's in Christ. It's very simple. Follow what the word is saying. But we don't want to stick to the simplicity. So now we're adding to it. Scripture is clear. So your mind should not be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. It is very simple when it comes to the word of God, but no people are moving away from, from, from the simplicity. 
now we're saying holy mother this is a catholic a catholic type of approach and it's not a godly approach it's not sanctioned by the god of israel let's continue i'm not, i don't think i'm gonna listen to the, to the entire thing and I, i'm not sure because <laughs> i'm telling you this just does something to my spirit to or those who deserve to be freed. I don't know. I can be, I don't know. But I do know what sympathy and empathy looks and feels like. If the court of appeal, that is, would be the last resort, the very last resort of the law, says let him go, then who am I to judge him? Who am I to sit back and watch all these other people send these threats and false accusations and all of that. Who am I? So today, I am asking you, as the queen of the universe, what? the queen mother of the universe, the one Listen. who gave birth to the gods, to the, the gods. one who spoke Glory and it was done God. in the very beginning, I think this young lady is reading too much of these occult books. Too much of these occult books that talks about Sophia, that talks about um, mother goddesses and all of that. And this is what our black people is going off into, especially our black ladies, because our black ladies are seeking so much liberty to the point where they will even rebel against God to get their quote-unquote liberty. At the same time, when the day of judgment comes, you got your liberty, you got your quote unquote liberty here, on to face the judgment of God later on. Sisters, be very careful of turning away from the simplicity of Christ because you want quote unquote freedom. It's what feminine feminism, feminine the feminine movement and all of that is very demonic. It's anti God. It's anti the order of God. And this is what many females are going off into, especially our black females. They're turning away from, from the true and living God to Satan because they want liberty. Satan promised you liberty, but let me tell you, Satan has already defeated and bound. So here we have our, uh, this, this lady here now saying that God gave, uh, sorry, forgive me, that this, that, that this mother goddess gave birth to the gods. So she's trying to put this God, this mother God is in the place of Father God. And if you see some of her comments, she's basically telling you that this mother goddess is the wife of Yahweh. This is blasphemous, very blasphemous. Sisters, do not fall for this. I'm begging you by the mercies of God, do not fall for things like these. And anybody who's coming in can listening to things like these and saying amen to it you're coming in agreement and covenant with this and it will affect your life some people will not tell you that but careful what you're doing out there because anything that you agree with and say amen to you is gonna affect your life this is the reason why you should not be out there even listening to or watching these things on um facebook and tiktok and youtube where people post things and say if you love Jesus, say Amen. They put up a picture of a white Jesus and say, If you love Jesus, say Amen. And you type Amen to that. But you don't know what they have done in the background. And it posts this out in the, in the public for you to come in agreement with it. You have to be careful. The spiritual world is real. Covenants are real. Agreements in the spiritual world is real. And it can affect your life. Same thing with you. When you guys go out there and throw water. Sorry, throw coins into water for what for good luck or to pay the sea or whatever it is you're coming to covenant with the spirits there and those things will affect your life and it's not gonna affect your life for positivity it's gonna affect your life negatively neg negatively and it also affect your generation people careful because we live in a spiritual world and some people don't understand how the spiritual world works the only way to God is through Jesus Christ and no other way. Our Yahweh Shai, our Yashaya, our Yahshua, and no other way. 
anybody else who say you can go to God in different ways. They're trying to tell you that they're spiritual, but that's not spiritual, it's demonic. And it's usually you have to be very careful of people saying, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. Which spirit? Which spirit are you operating under? That's the question. Okay, you can say you're spiritual, but you're operating with a word by demons. Anyway, let me continue. I am asking you, mother, to step in. This is not a joke matter. When someone is on a rise, when someone... Matter of fact, before I go any further, let me, let me pray and cover this video here. Let us cover, pray and cover this video. Heavenly Father, God, and King of all, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come before your holy throne. May you cover this video. Cover this video before it's posted, after it's posted, Heavenly Father God. Cover it from every demonic infiltration, every words and utter up in the atmosphere that's not in accordance with truth and your spirit. Mighty God, let no one be affected by these words going forward, Mighty God, because death and life is in the power of the tongue. And so, Mighty God, may you nullify and bring down all words out up in the atmosphere that's not in in, in, in in oneness with you and with your word in the mighty and the matchless name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen with off a particular energy when someone is working with energies that are unseen unknown they are misunderstood but those who know the gnosis will know whether they are loved or feared, a person's life should be respected. I'm asking you as a mother, as a mother of the cosmos, mm -hmm. to protect your son, Khadija Palmer. I'm asking you to help him to recover every single thing that he has lost. Asking you to nitpick and go through his friend group. The friend enemy them and the ones who are going to come and pretend that they were with him from all this time, 13 odd years that he was behind bars. I'm asking you to release him mentally. Because physically he has been released. But mentally I'm asking you to release Adija Palmer. Mentally. I'm asking you to protect him from the crown of his head to the soles of his very feet. Well, to be honest, that's it for that video. I will not be going any further with that video at all because the spirit inside of me is very grieved to see that these things grieve the spirit of God when we see things like these being done. And God is not pleased with that type of prayer. No, there's nothing wrong for praying for people, but to see prayers like these, I'm just being honest. It only makes things worse for people and not better. You know, prayers like these praying to to, to, to basically praying to pray, praying to demons is not gonna make things better for anybody. This is only gonna make things worse for them. So be very careful when you see things like these. This young lady is basically deep into the new age movement of which I was a part of. So I can tell you these things. I can tell you these things of experience. I was a part of the new age movement too. So don't believe I'm just here talking about what I don't know. I was a part of it too. I was a part of the whole new age movement practicing yoga, practicing um, um, all these new age practices, practicing mirror techniques and all of that. So I know what I am talking about. I'm not just here just making video because I see something that I want to make a video of. It's very dangerous and it's very demonic. Do not come in agreement with prayers like these. Do not participate in prayers like these. Do not end us prayers like these. The intention might be pure. The intention might be good. But it's coming and directing from a wrong source. Be safe out there. Cover yourself. And stay in the word of God. The word of God is even above his name. So all those who are trying to, make, trying to twist the word of God and so forth, judgment will be upon them. The word of God said, anybody who add or take away from his word, judgment will be upon them. Plagues will be added unto them. There's many witches out there and warlocks out there now. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. They're coming out here. They're practicing new age things and they're coming out here looking for an audience to bewitch and deceive by the spirit that's behind them. 
even people say that they're Christians too. So people be very, very careful. Always stay into the word of God and nothing else. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So I'm begging you and beseeching your people. Be warned when it comes to things like these and people like these that you see um, on the internet. Because a lot of witches out there, a lot of people are mixing up in new age. We're living in the last days and things are getting more dangerous and dangerous and dangerous. Cover yourself. Until the next video, Shalom.